Hello. So this week or this episode, we are doing Solomon, the dive site, which is also known as the quarry. This was a really cool dive. You actually docked the boat straight up to this pier, jumped in, explored underneath the pier a little bit, went for a swim and then came back to the pier. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite dives mm -hmm. in Dominica. It was so cool, so many marine life and there's like wreckage and other things to just go look in and explore and see what you can see. And big schools of fish, which was awesome. And also we went sperm whale watching as well. Don't know if we saw any yet, do you? Don't know, we didn't see any the first week, but who knows about the second week. We also have a couple clips of the dolphins that we did see the first week because we didn't see the whales, so the dolphins came to play. So make sure to keep watching for that. But there's definitely two trips in this video, so there may be some sperm whales. Now we did this trip uh, with Kitsy Camp on our Dominica week from Fort Young with Dive Dominica. It was really great. We've got all the information in the bio if you want to look at that. Perfect. Cool? Cool. Cool. Let's jump in. Enjoy. Bye. We've just dropped into a site called Solomon, also known as the quarry. Now, one thing you might notice is all over these pillars is loads and loads of corals. Now, I found that sites like this with the pillars, the pillar formation all over the place, tend to have lots of fish life, which you've seen a little bit of already. All those schooling fish in the background. We found it on Salt Pier in Bonaire. We found it on the cruise ship dock. And you'll see in an upcoming video, we find it in Scotland as well. Now what was really cool about this dive is we did it three times because it happened to be everybody's favorite pretty much every time because of the sheer number of fish and life on this dive. So we've got these schooling fish all under the dock which are a lot of fun to swim up and try and swim through because they separate like around you which is really cool and then we come along to this banded coral shrimp nestling itself between the sponges. Now you can't stay under the pier all day because as much as there is to see, it's not 60 minutes or a full dive worth of stuff. So we do venture out to some other wreckage a little bit and you'll notice all over this block, there are purple patches of Sergeant Major eggs. Now in Bermuda and all over the world, the Sergeant Majors are very much more aggressive around their eggs and they like to push other fish away. But we found that in Dominica, they tend to get eaten a lot by the little cleaner fish. So here I am saying, what are the fish doing eating these Sergeant Major eggs? And why are the Sergeant Major not there protecting them? Now, another quite sad thing we came across was this fish trap. Fish traps are designed so that the fish can go in, but they can't come back out. And they often have a lot of bycatch like eels and lobsters and puffer fish and things you can't eat. So it's really sad when we come across those. But we continue on with our dive because there was nothing much we could do about that. And we see this little tiny baby trumpet fish. Really adorable. There's lots of these little ones in Dominica, so always keep your eyes out for them. underneath the pier we have a larger trumpet fish now a little bit of a fun fact about trumpet fish before i move to talking about this seahorse here is that trumpet fish actually use their snout for defense and that is how they catch other fish and whatever they want to eat the seahorse was super cool he was in a different location each three times that we did the dive this was his first location and the most photogenic one so this is the one i want to show you guys 
And then we only found this guy once, but if you can look really closely at the yellow blob right in the middle, that is a frogfish. We have a whole video on finding frogfish in Dominica. This was one of the sites where it was very likely to find a frogfish because of how the site was laid out. And they really enjoy nestling when the uh, corals are the exact same color as them. So super hard to see and a great find. Always all over the place, you got these moray eels who love to try and frighten you with their big yawns. Really, we know they're just exhausted from a long day of watching divers go by. And coming up here, we have what we call a top hat fish. They look like a spotted drum, but they're a little bit bigger. They swim pretty quickly away. They do tend to be a little bit scared of divers, just like the spotted drum. And of course, the lionfish. Every dive site we're at, we see these invasive lionfish. This one was especially small and quite skittish for a lionfish, which tends to be unlike them, and it did swim away pretty quickly after this clip. We head back to the beautiful photogenic pier, where these pillars just are home to so many different marine life species, coral species, and of course, Mark wants to show you around them just a little bit. So if you guys stay tuned in this video, we're gonna cut to when the whale watching was, and you'll be able to see if we saw sperm whales, which are actually resident in Dominica. They're there year round. We didn't see them the first week, but maybe we saw them the second week. You'll have to stay tuned and find out. See you guys on our next dive, later. Socializing, everybody comes to the surface, everybody takes a 